All right, so we just showed you the starter on the GP1200R 2001. I'm gonna show you the machine next to it. This is a, another GP1200R Millennium Edition 2000. Has a new motor rebuilt in it. Um, <laughs> and I replaced the plugs, I'm gonna go start it. Check this out. Full of water inside. So, the only way to really take care of that is to keep cranking it over until all the water comes out of there as much as you can. Uh, clean up the plugs, the spark plugs, reinstall them. Hopefully it'll run and then you can push the rest of the water out and burn it out um, if there's a little bit in there. But you want to get as much as possible out of this motor. The only real ways that water gets into the motor of one of these is um, from number one, the flush kit. You can leave a cap open like that. It's got a valve in it. it should, you can put water in as much as you want unless you have the proper tool to go in there. It doesn't matter. So you can leave that cap off. However, if you put the flush nozzle to that and you start and you turn the water on before this motor is started, um, that will just fill up the motor. If you have the water attached to it, running it, flushing it, and it stalls for any reason, and you leave the water on, that will fill up the motor. Um, if you break down on the water and you have a tow and they tow you more than five miles per hour You will create a siphon to the back of the machine where the intake rate is and it will fill up the motor Those are and the only other way I guess is if you left the hull plugs out and you filled up the hull with water and it started sucking water in So I don't know what the story is here, but we're gonna work on cranking this and getting all this water out just wanted to show you that. Another thing I do when this happens is I put fogging oil down inside the cylinders so that when I turn it over to pump all this water out, it lubricates the rings a little bit too um, in the cylinders because obviously water's not good. Uh, and this is after about four minutes, five minutes of cranking this over. Still quite a bit coming out, but it is much, much less than it was. I only crank it for a little bit at a time and then stop it a little bit at a time and then stop it. You don't want to burn out the starter motor or anything like that. And we're replacing the starter just like we did on this machine. So, we'll just keep cranking and let it sit for a little bit. Keep cranking, of course, it kills the battery. So you're going to want to charge the battery after doing this or put it on a uh, trickle charger or something while you're doing it. Um, so I'm just going to continue to keep doing this. And... Uh, Hopefully we get all this water out, we'll clean the plugs, put it in. Sometimes if there's a little bit in there, it'll start up and then it'll push the rest out. But um... Keep cranking it out. So after cranking it over, for quite a long time on and off. Um, it usually take, can take him between 45 minutes, half an hour to an hour maybe you say, roughly. Sometimes a little bit longer to get all the water out properly, um, squirt some oil down in the cylinders to lubricate it, run it. Typically I run it once or twice. Um, once I can get it running and I take the plugs back out. Um, there's usually still more water on it and I spray a little bit of more uh, fog and oil down the cylinders turn it over just bump it over a little bit um, and then I crank it over just to help lubricate the cylinders with the fogging oil uh, and then I put the plugs back in run it again and then I take the plugs back out and I do that until the plugs are dry when they're not wet with water um, and when basically this happens and you could turn it over now with the plugs out And there is no more water coming out anymore. All you have is air from compression being lost out the spark plug holes. So That's it. I'll um, I'll spray this down one more time with fog and oil turn it over um, Clean the plugs one more time because they were just slightly wet put it back in and run it um, I'll run it on the hose for a little while, um, for about 5-10 minutes, and then, um, then I'll re-inspect the plugs again, but we should be good after this, so there we go. Thank you very much.